and I look forward to further success in the future. Edward Dibson. Thank you very much, uh, Mr Speaker. And does my right honourable friend agree that the government's ambitious strategy for growing exports needs to include more agricultural councils in our embassies, a UK export council to help coordinate that strategy, and also a, a better promotion and marketing of our brand Britain abroad so we can ensure that farming and food companies in Edisbury and right across the country can embrace the undoubted benefits and opportunities that UK free trade deals can deliver. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My honourable friend uh, uh, cleverly uh, tempts me in enlisting the recommendations of the Trade and Agriculture Commission, uh, <laughs> which constructively seeks to improve our support uh, for UK farmers. Um, and I can tell him that uh, we look forward to responding to that as soon as possible. Yeah, I'm glad you weren't tempted. I am now suspending the House for three minutes to enable necessary arrangements to be made.